There are some things that are boring to buy, but just completely change your workflow. And this is one of those things. And that is a universal tripod dolly. So in this video, I'm going to show you four ways that I've been using mine. And I'm also going to talk about the tripod dolly that I've been using and whether it might be a good choice for you. So just a disclaimer before we get started, I was sent this tripod dolly for the purposes of doing a review. I was not paid. Everything in this video is my own thoughts and opinions, and they do not get to see the video or have any input on it before I publish it. So the first thing is kind of obvious. The dolly makes your tripod move. And you might say like a tripod's not that hard to move around, and that's true. And especially if you kind of just have your tripod set up and it stays there and it doesn't move, then it's not that big a deal. Or if it sits there and you don't move it very often and just maybe change the shot every now and then, then sure, it's not that big a deal. But if you're someone who, like me, has maybe a multi-use space where you're shooting video and also photography and a bunch of different things in that space and you're trying to maximize the workflow and get more done in a smaller amount of time, especially again, if you're changing things around a lot or often changing shots often. And especially if you're just a solo solopreneur as they call it, a freelancer, or also and almost especially if you are someone with a full-time job and are trying to get your video photo work done on the side outside of that, then having this savings of time is going to be a big deal and it actually makes a crazy amount of difference to be able to just wheel in the camera and set up the shot when you need it and just wheel it out of the way and especially if you're like me and you're limited on space and you can just have the tripod set up constantly and wheel it out into the corner when you're not using it that makes a huge difference. The next thing I actually like about it is dolly movement. And gimbals are really trendy right now. A lot of people are using them very often. And even every starting out creator has a smartphone gimbal. And I have nothing against gimbals. Gimbals make really cool shots when you use them correctly. There's always a time and place for it, every type of shot. But gimbals don't have natural movement in them. That's just not the natural way that motion happens and that can be a good thing or a bad thing it's always about capturing the shot in the way that you're trying to convey that shot and dolly movements and shots have been around since the beginning of filming and it is just a different type of movement to add to your shot. It's very different than a gimbal shot. And the movement I think is a little bit more natural, but it's also still very smooth movement. And again, it's just about having a different tool to convey a shot in a different way. Another thing this can also be great for is actually event shooting. And one reason just right off the bat why it is a good thing or can be a good thing is that when you have a big camera on a big moving tripod out at an event, people just kind of assume that you're with the news or media or something and they tend to just leave you alone. Now, that is assuming that you are actually supposed to be there and have the permits and permissions and everything that you need to be there. If you're not, that's a different story and it's probably going to attract unwanted attention. But if you are supposed to be there, that can be a good thing if you just want to be able to get the shots that you need and not have people coming up to you asking what you're doing and that kind of thing. But for long shoots at things like an event, having the camera to be on a tripod so you're not carrying it around the whole time, but you're still mobile. You can even get stabilized shots when you're moving with the dolly like I was talking about earlier in certain situations. And just keeping all of that weight off of your back and, and arms is a huge deal. Now, obviously you're not going to be as nimble as when you're on a handheld setup. And I would say that this works better if you have multiple cameras, multiple people shooting for coverage. So if you're solo shooting, it might be a bit difficult to get around fast enough to cover everything that you need, again, depending on the event. But anytime that I have the opportunity to not carry my big camera rig around all day, I'm gonna take it. And then the fourth thing, simple and sweet, that I like about having a dolly is just reframing. If you 
have a shot set up and you just need it slightly scooched over, it's so much easier to just wheel it over a little bit rather than having to lift it up and move it, which I know sounds lazy, and it is, but when you lift it up and move it, then you have to make sure that it's stabilized in the new spot, especially if you're on carpeting or outdoors and uneven ground or something. That's much easier if you can just wheel it over a little bit and not have to completely reset everything. Now the dolly that I've been using is the small rig universal tripod dolly and the biggest thing that stuck out to me as soon as I got it is how small and compact this dolly is. Honestly when the box got here I thought it was the wrong item because it was so small because this dolly two of the legs fold in onto the other leg and it comes with a soft carrying case and it's super compact and easy to just pack up and store or bring it with you wherever you're going so that you can always have the option of shooting on a tripod dolly. This one is also universal. There's a screw locking mechanism on the legs and the legs themselves also extend and retract. So it can basically fit any tripod, including photo tripods. Build quality from Small Rig is something that I've just come to really trust in. Everything that I've used from them, from camera cages and accessories to lighting and tripod and tripod accessories, build quality has been great. It lasts a long time and great value for the price with everything. And this tripod dolly is no exception. It feels really well built and I expect it to last a long time. So. If you are looking for a tripod dolly, and again, that is something that I suggest you start to think about, I would highly suggest this option from Small Rig. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments below, have you used a tripod dolly before? Do you use it on a regular basis? Do you like it or not? Are you looking into maybe getting one now? If you haven't yet, hit the subscribe button and then the bell icon so that you can get notified of all the videos that I bring out on this channel. If you're interested in this tripod dolly or any of the other gear or accessories that I've talked about in the video, in the description below, I will have links to those products. They will be affiliate links. So if you purchase through those at no extra cost to you, it'll help support this channel so that I can continue making videos for you guys. Thanks, see ya. You gotta focus on yourself, on your faith, on your dreams, on your mind, on your health, yeah. You gotta work, never tell, keep your head down, find what you love and excel, yeah. Push and pull and repel any hate, go create what you want, feel compelled, yeah.